And now, Sportsline Friday Night. Welcome to Sportsline Friday Night for week three of the high school football season. I'm Eric Moon. Cole Sams joins us in a bit. As always, we'll start with our Sportsline Game of the Week, presented by your Southern Idaho Honda dealers. It's father versus son. Scott Berger versus Michael Berger. It's the second annual Berger Bowl between Thunder Ridge and Skyline. It is the Berger Bowl 2.0. There it is, the t-shirt for Berger Bowl 2 2023. Michael Berger and the Thunder Ridge Titans facing off against Scott Berger and the Skyline Grizz. Father versus son for the second time with Scott's Grizz taking last year's game. And anything can happen in a rivalry contest. Here we go with Berger Bowl 2023. Scott and Skyline try to get back above 500 while Michael and Thunder Ridge seek their first win of the season. Skyline's quarterback Carmine Garcia did not play tonight due to an injury. So Alex Dennard played QB tonight for the first time since Grid Kid. And he had a night to remember. His first pass goes to Amani Morell in the flat. And once Morell finds a lane, he is gone. 59 yards to the house on the first play from scrimmage. 6-0 Grizz. Next skyline possession. Next pass from Dennard. He puts it up for Taylor DeMont, who makes the grab with his fingertips. Touchdown Grizz. It's 12 zip. Skyline did not convert on their first two-point attempt, but they do here as Dennard and DeMont connect again. So far, Dennard is three for three for 91 yards, two touchdowns, and a conversion. Thunder Ridge, meanwhile, did get the ball moving on their second drive as Ezra Moss drops a dime to Cody Robinson for a big gain on a nice play. But the Titans fumbled it away a few plays later. Then on the final play of the first quarter, Skyline ball, it's Dennard to Zion Crockett for a 79-yard house call. Dennard goes four for four with 160 yards passing and three TDs in the first quarter alone. And Skyline goes two for two in the Berger Bowl, winning this one 34 to 20. Hillcrest students lighting up the night with neon in the stands. And the Knights were lighting up the scoreboard against Blackfoot. We pick it up late in the first half with Hillcrest ahead 20 to nothing as Tracy Keller fights through Broncos on his way to the end zone. But it is called back due to a holding penalty. No worries for the Knights though. Peyton Kane sends this ball Jace Judy's way. And Judy makes the grab near the pylon for a big gain. First and goal Hillcrest. On the next play, the give is to Titan Larson, who punches it in for six. All Hillcrest in this one as the Knights pick up their first conference win, 41-7 over the Broncos. Let's head south to Shelley early on first. Chance White breaks away and takes it home for Shelley's second touchdown of the night. Russett's crowd is loving that. There they are. The Bobcats, though, make a push towards the end zone on fourth down. They come up just short. Russett's next possession. Conley Bennett loses his grip on the football. It's a fumble recovered by Burley Scott Crump, giving the Bobcats a big jolt. On the next play, though, the Russets are on a cat hunt. The defense sacks the QB, Mike, Mac Jensen, in retaliation. Bobcats still in it, though. Jensen launches a 12-yard pass. Braxton Bowen is in for the touchdown. It's 14-7 Shelley. Next Russets drive is Chance Wade again. He runs it in for a touchdown like Miles Morales wearing his Air Jordan 1s. Yeah, we caught those. Shelley's spidey senses were tingling tonight as the Russets top early. Get this, 47-14. There might not be a better team in the state of Idaho right now than the Highland Rams. The Rams defeated last season's 4A champ Skyline last Thursday night. And tonight they hosted Crosstown rival Century, playing for the first time on turf at Iron Horse Stadium. The Rams kick things off with a bang on that beautiful new turf. Drew Hymas fires it down the middle of the field to Ridge Barella, who makes a defender miss and walks into the end zone for a touchdown. Hymas now finds a security blanket Jackson Riddle in the flats. And Riddle doesn't give the defense any clues on how to tackle him in open space. An electrifying play from the senior running back. Hymas would have himself a game, this time hitting Cy Reno on a strike that he would turn into six more points. Highlights from Highland all over the place, with Tyson Beckles getting in on the fun, going untouched along the sideline and into the end zone, as Highland improves to 3-0 with the win, 58-3. 
Twin Falls hosting the Pocatell High School Thunder in a non-conference matchup for Bruins homecoming. Starting off early, Pocatell is looking to play homecoming spoiler. First play from scrimmage for the Thunder. Drayson Contreras drops back and launches it deep to Julian Bowie for the reception. 75 yards to the house. Extra point no good, and Pokey's up 6-0. Twin Falls looking to answer back with a drive of their own. Is Austin Crum looking for the end zone? And no, Hunter May is there for the amazing pick. Stop it. I know, right? Stopping the Bruins' cold blood. Pokey wasn't done. Their very next play, it's a touchdown. Same play as before. Throws it up, and Bowie pulls it down. Dual sport athlete right there. 80 yards to the house. Extra point good. 13-0 Pokey. In the second, Pokey looking at fourth and long. But Twin Falls Preston Stokes is there with a nice tackle. But Twin wouldn't be able to get it done. Pokey takes the 20-7 victory back to Pocatello. Good win for the Thunder there. Now out to Rexburg where Madison hosts Fiato Falls Tigers during pool party night. Student section's loving that on Madison's first possession. Hazen Torgerson finds Barkley Beck. He shakes the tackle and sprints in. Bobcats up early, 7-0. Beck, he was hungry tonight. He takes the handoff, makes a move. He's off to the races. Giddy up and go. Touchdown, Madison. That's two on the night. 14-0 Bobcats. Madison would add one more score to take a three-score lead. This was far from a one-sided game, though, the way this played out. Idaho Falls moving the ball well. Turnovers hurt them in the first half. Tigers would get the last laugh for the moment after that pick. Defense could smell the Bobcats were cooking, tackling back in the end zone for a safety to get on the board. However, the damage was already done. The Bobcats roll on to win this one 35 to eight. Bobcats going for their first win of the season, hosting Hagerman. Bulldog quarterback Teague Matthews was dialing up in the entire first half. Here with a beautiful back shoulder throw to Abe Held for a touchdown. Matthews now takes the handoff on a trick play and throws an absolute dime to Aiden Radford, who makes a terrific effort on the catch. And Radford would make his voice heard from the end zone, escaping the defense and comes down clutch with the touchdown grab on fourth down. And then on the last play of the half, Matthews scrambles to his right, evades the pressure, and finds, guess who, Radford again. He finished his day with five touchdowns, and Matthews had seven through the air. As the Bulldogs win this one in blowout fashion, 48 to 12. We were also at the Rigby Bonneville game tonight, but unfortunately we will not show you the highlights. That's because late in the first quarter, Bonneville's Tim Williams suffered a terrible leg injury and he had to be taken off the field in an ambulance. Immediately thereafter, Rigby and Bonneville chose to cancel the rest of the game. We send our best to Tim and we hope that he can make a full recovery. We'll be right back. Odell's Furniture Inventory Reduction, Power Dual Reclining Sofa, and Matching Power Reclining Console Love Seat, all for just $12.88. Six-piece bedroom set, queen bed, dresser, mirror, and nightstand, all for just $4.88. Sealy queen-size plush top mattress, just $3.68. Five-piece dinette set, table, and four padded chairs, all for just $2.88. Buy with no down payment and no interest for up to four full years. It's in stock, ready for immediate delivery or pickup. Odell's Furniture Inventory Reduction. Hey y'all, Terry here from Fit Fast for Health. I just wanted to share some of our exciting success stories with you. Fit Fast for Health has been the motivation I needed. I understand nutrition better. I believe accountability is critical. My blood pressure is down. I've dropped two sizes in clothing and 53 pounds in six months. And I've gained five notches on my belt and I sleep better. So call me today for your free consultation and body analysis. I can't wait to meet you. Right now with Papa Murphy's, we've got a great deal. Which means I make more great pizza. Like our $9.99 XLNY pizza. It's everything you'd expect from a classic New York-style pizza, hot and fresh out of your oven. Order now at PapaMurphy's.com. Hey, what's up? You smell nice. It's Bumble and Bleep. Don't be a creep. Come to Bumble and Bleep. Welcome back. Before we get to some scores, let's look ahead to this weekend's action, including the first matchup between Idaho State and Utah State since 2017. That's coming up tomorrow night as the Aggies try to extend their win streak in the series to six games, while the Bengals go for their first victory against Utah State since 2000. Kickoff Saturday night in Logan is at 6 o'clock, and we will have coverage this weekend on Sports Live.
The NFL Spud Kings are going to get their game on and go play this weekend. That's right, the Spuds face the Octa Mustangs in their second preseason game this Sunday at the Mountain America Center. Idaho Falls won tonight's first preseason game in a shootout just a little bit ago on the road 6-5. Puck drop Sunday is at 3 o'clock and the Spud King season opener is at Rock Springs two weeks from tonight. Let's show you some more scores from tonight's game. Starting with Sugar Salem getting it done in Star Valley with a 31-14 win. And the Epston Red Devils get their first win of the season. A thrilling 34-27 victory against Riverton. The defending 2A state champions are on the board in 2023. In a rematch of last year's title game, Bear Lake edges out first 14-13. And the top-ranked team in the 2A media poll this week showed why they are in first as North Fremont dominated Malad 48-6. You can see more of tonight's scores scrolling at the bottom of your screen and in the sports section on our website at localnews8.com and in the app. It's time to show you this week's top plays that you voted for, starting with the Rockland Bulldogs at number three. Teague Matthews gets around the edge against Dietrich, and he is long gone for a Bulldog score, turning on the Jets down the sideline. He had a great game today, too. We head to Pocatello and look out field for number two. It is Highlands Drew Hymas who shoves a Grizzly aside, shifts gears, and sprints to the house. A 35-yard touchdown for the Rams on a great rush from QB1. Saw a lot of those types of plays from the Rams tonight. But our top play comes from last week's Game of the Week. Hillcrest Peyton King puts up a great ball and Mason Saunders juggles and pulls in an excellent TD reception. Knights fans showed out to vote this play at number one by a wide margin. That is incredible concentration there, Cole. I know it's just impressive what Hillcrest has done these last couple weeks, and it may not just be a basketball school, it might be a football school as well. Yeah, Brendan Mossholder building a great program there. Third 3 0. That's all for us tonight. We'll see you next week. Your local news is now available on any of these streaming services and devices.